More shuffling at the Walton County Commission meeting this week than a weekly, more shuffling in fact than a weekly poker game you might say after William Boots McCormick suddenly decided to resign as the chairman. The board began debating who should replace him. As News 13's Kimber Collins tells us the people in the audience were not necessarily thrilled by the board's decision. William Boots McCormick stepped down as the board chair on February 1st. McCormick told News 13 there was too much division and disrespect to try to navigate the other commissioners to civil conclusions. At the Thursday meeting in Defuniac Springs, Commissioner Danny Glidewell nominated Tony Anderson for the role. Commissioner Brad Drake nominated current Vice Chair Donna John, stating Walton County should have a woman in the seat. I believe that uh, if, if there's a, a, a blatant attempt to keep a woman from becoming the chair of the board, that the optics of that are terrible. We've had female chairs. This is not about females and, and, uh, and males and power to the people. This is about uh, who should be our chairman and who's the most qualified. Commissioner Anderson he is. He's the senior commissioner. We're in a place where we need somebody quick who can step in and knows the job. It, it, it could be considered chauvinistic or sexist, and I don't want that to happen. I think she deserves a chance for you know, supporting Commissioner Jones. I have no, no doubt in this hunt. Whatever the board chooses is fine with me. After the commissioners talked it out, Anderson was approved as the new chairman in a 3-2 to two vote. Donna Johns will remain as the vice chair. I am extremely disappointed that it has turned out the way it has, but it is what it is, and I will move forward. My heart goes with who's most qualified, because I think you are up and coming. That's why I nominated the vice chair. This is not a conspiracy, especially on my part. Uh, I, would, uh, I think all of us up here are capable of being the chairman. Those that spoke from the audience agreed that John should have the gavel. McCormick, Drake, and Anderson seats are up for re-election this November. In Walton County, Kimber Collins, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Human Resources also updated commissioners about the search for a county administrator after they fired Quinn Robertson last month. So far, there are five applicants, including the interim administrator, Stan Sunday. The job will be advertised online until March.